Okay, so we're talking about the nth term here. Could this topic could also be called number patterns. Let me just explain a few things about this topic and then it will make sense. N just means where you are in the pattern. So N if N was one, that means your position one in the pattern. Uh, two, three, four, or the twentieth number in the pattern. Okay, these are called the terms in the pattern. So this is the first term, second term. This is the actual pattern, this bit here. Okay, this n, 4n, 4n minus 1, these are basically the nth terms. That's what we're talking about, really, yeah? They are the rules to work out how you get from anywhere in this row to uh, your pattern. So if I wanted the fourth number in the pattern, I just use this rule and it will tell me uh, that it's 15. For example, 4n minus 1 means if n is 4, times it by 4, take away 1, so 16, take away 1 is 15. Uh, 20 times 4, take away 1 is 79. Let's go, let's back up a little bit and let's talk about how I did that. Okay, a simple nth term is 4n, because 4n just means the 4 times table. Because, for example, if 2n was 2, 4n would be 8. And you could just go back, you know, like 4, 8, 12, 16, 80. It's pretty simple. 4n means the 4 times table. But if you have something else that also goes up by 4, like 3, 7, 11, 15, 17, well, Forget that one because that's not going. That's not part of the. It's not going one, two, three, four. But these are going up by four. But they're not the four times table. In fact, they're just one below the four times table each time, as you can see here. One below. One below. One below. And so what you say instead of four n, you just say four n minus one. So the rule to work out any number in this pattern is four n minus one. It means times the position by 4, so n is position times by 4, and then take away 1, and there you go, you've got the number in the pattern. So 20 times 4, take away 1, gives you 79. So the 20th number in this pattern is 79. Let's move on to the other side. Right. Um, this is pretty much the same thing except for uh, we're just using matchsticks. So we look at the matchsticks and go, right, well, we've got four matchsticks here, you've got seven matchsticks there, you've got ten matchsticks there. Just write down the numbers and you're back to the original position we were before when we were just using numbers. So n again is where you are in the pattern and pretend we don't have this yet because we're trying to work this out um, we've got 4, 7, 10 and we're going up by 3 so well it's a bit like the 3 times table but not quite because the 3 times table says 3, 6, 9 so we're 1 above this 3 times table in each case so you just write 3n plus 1 simple. We've got the rule to work out any number in this pattern. So I randomly wrote 25, 25. I want the 25th number in this pattern. So I do 25 times 3 plus 1 because it's the number, the position number times 3 and add 1. 25 times 3 plus 1 is 76. So there are 76 matches, which we didn't draw really because it takes too long, 76 matches in the 25th pattern. That's it.